How's it going everyone? It's Abdallah here bringing you guys episode one of Temtem on Steam and of course going to be available on all other systems such as Nintendo Switch so stay tuned for that release. But right now we're going to be playing through the pre-launch one so we have early access to it. The game can absolutely change and we'll see what happens but I played a little bit of Temtem off screen and uh, it was actually pretty fun. We did the alpha build and we learned a lot about it. So if you guys are fans of games that are monster hunting, battling, collecting, like Pokemon or Yokai Watch, you guys are going to be right at home with this one. Now, keep in mind that we're going in completely blind to this game. There's going to be a lot of brand new aspects, but by the end of the series, we are going to be Temtem experts. Temtem masters! Oh, it's going to be super fun. So anyway, if you guys enjoy the concept and enjoy the content that we're doing, make sure you guys smash that like button. It shows me that you guys want to see more of it. So let's jump on into it, shall we? Okay, so here we go. Oh, uh, you're going to choose your body type and your skin color. So, and then your running style. I guess this running style is pretty good. And then we're going to choose body type here. Okay, man body type. We're going to go head shape. I mean, there's a lot of customization options. I honestly don't, um, I don't know. Maybe I could replicate myself in Temtem. I, I guess that's it. Uh, how are my eyebrows? They are rather, um, rather intense. How about like, um, I think these. These look pretty good. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Um, eye color, my eyes are indeed a bluish. You probably can't see it right now, but they are indeed that. Uh, hairstyle, I know they have to have like some sort of mohawk, right? This looks pretty good, right? Yeah. And then you can actually change up the coloration of the hair too. So I do like that, but I won't spend too much time uh, messing around with um, Wild Dude with blue tips. That's pretty interesting. No, we need to be brown. I gotta press the A button, I'm sorry. So you're gonna press the A button. And then you're gonna go, what like highlights, if anything? My hair is actually really darker than that. I guess that's cool. <laughs> um, yeah, sure. Yeah, I guess, like, I don't wanna be like, oh, maybe like a mocha. This looks like a mocha right here. Okay. <laughs> All right. And we're gonna go with this. All right, this is great. Top. Uh, let's see what kind of uh, top we should wear. What do I like wearing? I like wearing tees. You can go naked. Uh, so let's go tee, because I'm wearing my Limit Break t-shirt, which you guys can absolutely get right now. Click on the uh, the teespring. You guys should get that. All right, so now the color of the tee could be... Um, I don't want any sleeves. Can I just do not sleeves? I guess it is sleeved, huh? Or there's got to be a way of doing it. Mm, let me see. Yeah, there we go. A black tea. And what happened to my skin color? I thought I changed that. All right, anyway. <laughs> okay, bottoms, purple pants, underwear. I guess we can wear some jeans. What kind of jeans do we like? Yeah, these are pocket jeans. They're pretty cool. All right, and then uh, I like I like gray pants. This looks really good. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. And then backpacks, uh, I guess we could wear a smaller backpack and let's do something blue because blue is my favorite color. So we're gonna do that one. And then we're gonna do this with like a darker blue, like highlight. Perfect. And then name for your character, three to 15 long. Perfect. Uh, he, him, they, them. Great, that's my name, pronoun there, voice one, sure. Oh. Let's go. <laughs> Ina's here. What's up, Ina? Uh, still sleeping? Come on, wakey, wakey. Good morning, Abdallah. Morning. Oh, you better wake fast, they're all waiting for you. Who? Oh, you sleepyhead, you don't remember what day it is? Oh, today it's, uh, oh, it's my apprentice's Eve. Exactly, my dear. Congratulations. You got one Tempedia. Okay, okay. So the quintessential device for every tamer should have. Uh, the Tempedia records crucial info on every Temtem seen and caught. Yours is a present from Ina. And here's your apprentice Eve's present. Oh, just what I wanted. You're an apprentice now, so you'll be heading to the Academia. So... I figure you'll need a good Tempedia. 
Uh, so, do you know how it works? Uh, it lists all the Temtem I capture and stores info, information about them. Professor Constantinos showed us how to use this. And now you have your very own. Well, hurry up. They're all waiting for you. All right, let's go, Temtem. Oh, Temtem early access. You guys see that on the bottom of the screen there. Hey, there we go. There we go. So the game can change by the time you download it and play it along. So, yeah. I'm excited to see what this brings. I love the concept of learning all new names of collectible Temtem. And here we are. In the town of Zadar. Zader. All right, it's Vasilis. It's Abdallah, congrats. Uh, happy Apprentice Eve, Abdallah. Oh my, all of Zadar is here. Congratulations, we know this is a, day, a big day for you, but we're also going to miss you. We got you a little pocket money for the trip to the Academia. It's not much, but we've all chipped in. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you so much, dear, my dear neighbors. But Abdallah, where's your friend Max? Someone calling? Oh, hey, Abdallah. Did you know it's my apprentice's Eve, too? Oh. Hello, Max. We are waiting for Professor Constantinos. Hey, kids, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Ah, Professor Constantinos, please take care of Abdallah. Ah, children, they grow so fast, and one day they're gone. Oh. Don't worry, my dear Ina. I'll drop Abdallah and Max off at the Academia on my way to the university. Cool, can we go with you? Hey, you're still a little bit too young to come with me to the university, Max, but who knows, perhaps one day if you persevere. What about you, Abdallah? Big plans for the future? <laughs> Abdallah isn't that good at handling Temtem, but it's okay, don't worry, Abdallah. You can always stay here and take care of Ina, right? Hey. Max, Abdallah, come with me. We'll drop, my, drop by my lab to grab a couple of things, and then I'll be on our, on our way. Take care, Abdallah. I love you. I know you'll do great. Come on, kids. Let's go. All right. So here we go. This is uh, this is it. Here we go. Let's go. So now from the beta, what we've seen is that we can indeed go over to the professor's area. I think the professor's lab is here, right? No? Someone's house? Yeah, yeah. Here we go. So we're going to go over here. We're going to get our partner, Temtem, right off the bat. And you can choose one of three, which is going to be super fun. All right, hey, Abdallah, come here. Uh, very well, kids. As you know, this is your apprentice's eve, meaning you have already learned all the basic theory about Temtem. Now you are ready to handle your first Temtem. See those glass jars? Each contains a different Temtem from all around the archipelago. Hey, Teach, do you have any digital? Digital Temtem are, very, are a very recent invention, my young friend. They are very seldom found. I have one. Oh, where'd you get that? It doesn't matter, Abdallah. From the fanciest to the humblest of Temtem, it is the tamer that makes all the difference. And since Max already has a Temtem, let's get you one too. Take your pick. Oh, why does Abdallah get to choose and I don't? Quiet, please. Go ahead, Abdallah. See which one you like the best. Temtem is always important. Uh, Temtem is always an important moment for every tamer. All right, so what we have over here is a brand new Temtem. His name is Crystal. Crystal Temtem. Uh, that is a strong against electric and mental, but weak against fire and earth. I caught this one in the Ashen Plains of Tukma, near the Amethyst Barrens. Are you sure you want this, Temtem? No. I'm going to show you guys which ones, and then you guys can let me know in the comments which ones you guys are going to do. Okay, that's Smazzy, the melee Temtem. Strong against earth and crystal, but weak against mental. I wanted a pub brawl once in Lockburg. Heady days. All right. You sure you want this, Temtem? No. And then right over here. This is How Chick, a mental Temtem. It's strong against neutral and melee, but weak against crystal. I brought it from my alma mater. I like this one, so I'm gonna try this one. Mental Temtem, strong against neutral and melee. Are you sure you want it? Yes. Excellent choice. You got a new Temtem, How Chick. All right, How Chick, soft touch uh, is a new trait. We'll take a look at the details right now. It says, when attacking in a sleep target, it won't wake it up. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it's got an ability built into it. So, yeah, cool. How chick is here? Squad. All right, time to get a move on, kids. Okay, so you can use the left trigger to take a look at any notifications. And right trigger shows pretty much everything you need to know about, like, the pretty much the UI. So I like the UI a lot. Rather than pressing start and opening up a menu and then going into menus, you can just move around and see it. Abdallah, the teacher's pet. You think you're better than me, don't you? And now you have your brand new Temtem, huh? Let's see what you could do with it.
All right, Max. Ori. Max has got Ori. And we've got Halchik. Whoa, we got some moves here. Hypnosis, Kick, and Psy Wave. Whoa, that's cool. All right, so I'm going to go with a kick. I'm going to kick this dude. Yeah, I'm dead. That was a one-hit KO. So my head is going to be covering up a little bit of the UI here, so don't even worry about it. You'll be okay. You won, Max. That digital Temtem of yours really gave you an edge. It's about the Tamer, not the Temtem. Didn't you say that a minute ago, Teach? Congratulations, Max. Don't let this first defeat affect you too much, Abdal. You never really set a chance against Max's Ori. Digital Temtem are rare and a powerful innovation. Uh, let me take a look at your Halchik. I could use a couple bandages, some balm. There, all healed. To level the playing field, I have something for you, Abdallah. You got a new Temtem, 2Y. Hey, okay. So 2Y is going to be our new Temtem. Let's take a look at this. Damage done with multi-target techniques is increased by 25%. So um, if you guys have never seen Temtem before, sometimes it's going to be one-on-one -on -one battles. Sometimes it's going to be doubles battles. So whenever you do an attack that hits more than one person with this guy, he's going to be really good. So uh, really excited for that. All right, we're going to squat him up. Tuai might not look like much, but it's one of the rarest Temtem I've ever found. Take good care of it. I have reasons to believe there's more to it than meets the eye. What? I don't get one of those? You already have your digital Temtem. Still, not fair. My research suggests Tuai might react to certain places of power, but I haven't found any on this island. That's why I'm going back to Arbury to consult with my peers. I have to catch an airship, but I can walk you kids as far as the academia. But we don't need a babysitter. Fair enough. Perhaps you can travel on your own. It'll be a way to prove yourselves. Very well, Abdallah, Max, I'll go ahead and wait for you in the Brisal del Mar. You two head up north and meet me there. Listen up, the path is teeming with Temtem, -tem, so have a few Tem card. Use them to capture wild Temtem. -tem. Okay, so we got eight Tem cards. A card-like device used to capture and transport Temtem. -tem. Since they won't go down without a fight, you, I have some balm to heal your Temtem -tem after a battle. All right, cool. So we got some balm. That's it. Good luck, remember, and I'll be expecting you in Brisal del Mar. Be prudent, kids. Okay, cool. And all these people here, these are actual online people playing right now. And you can talk to them, you can interact with them, you can do a whole bunch of stuff. But anyway, whoa, look at that hovering person. Yeah, dude. Okay, let's not talk about that. But anyway. Okay, so here we go. The pressing coast is dangerous. Remember to use a balm if you're in trouble. It's not an easy tour. Okay. Pressing Coast, we need to get our Temtem going, right? I want to do like a wild battle. Oh, there's a little treasure chest over there too. All right, here's a guy. Ah, oh, Pepe. All right. Ah, oh, finally, someone to test my skills against. Pepe the Fishmonger? Yeah, sure. Get ready, Abdallah. So we're going to battle, or what? <laughs> there we go. Load up the battle. Okay. So we need, to have, we need to learn the typings. That's one of the things that I need to really focus on in this Let's Play, is learning the typings. And by the end of it, we're going to be winners. So uh, right now, how chick... I can use a kick. I'm going to kick the pig. Um, Windblade... Yeah, we can go Windblade. I'm going to Windblade. We're going to double attack the pig. There's a big kick. Ooh. And here goes the Windblade. Done. Bamboozle's happening right now. And yeah, that's not going to help much. Okay, so what we could do is we can indeed... Um, I can go Hypnosis. Or I can go Psy Wave. I'm going to go Psy Wave on this thing. And then I'm going to Windblade this thing to finish it off. Yeah, that should be good. Wow, I thought Psy Wave would have been a, a full-on KO. Okay, so one of the things that I do want to tell you guys is there's two meters that you have on your Temtem, -tem, right? 
You have your health meter, which is the top one, and then you have your move meter. And your moves each will cost a certain amount, like Psy Wave costs about seven in order to do. Now, when you overexert yourself, as in, like, let's say a move costs like 11, it'll actually remove your entire bar and then go into your health. So you don't want that to happen. So anyway, I'm gonna go for a kick. Uh, I'll kick Paharo, and then we're gonna Windblade uh, the pig. I think I got like a confusion effect or something, but that thing's done. And then Windblade, ooh, half damage on it. Okay, so that's a resisted hit. All right, so that's fine. I'm gonna do another kick, and then I'm just gonna rest. Here we go, done. So we're getting some experience. Tem Tem up. And we've earned 43 of the in-game currency, which is like some sort of star thing. All right, you beat me. Uh, Solara, take me. You're pretty good for a kid, Abdallah. Thanks. All right, so looking at my Tem Tem, we can go over here and uh, we can look at squad. And our team is looking pretty weak right now, so we need to find a way of healing. We can indeed go all the way back home. And if you talk to your mom... If you talk to your mom, you will be able to heal up really quick. So I think home is all the way this way. So just in case you guys are playing this game along with, you can download it on Steam. Uh, you guys can do this. So there we go. Super healed. That should have done it. Uh, but it doesn't heal their exhaustion meter. She just healed your... Um, yeah, she just healed your health. So that's kind of lame. All right, no worries. We're moving. Okay. Oh, these guys are just waiting for battles, huh? That's kind of cool. I want to catch some wild Temtem, but we got another couple double battles before we make it to the next spot. Hi, young one. Would you care for a little friendly Temtem match? Don't bother the students, Orhan. They're probably on their way to the academia. You're going to make them late for class. Consider this practical lesson, then. There will be times you, you'll be fighting two tamers at the same time. Uh, or fighting alongside a friend, as we always do. Let's see how you Fido. All right, well, let's see how you Fido. So, let's see. Here's our battle. Next battle. Okay. So we didn't level up. We still have our guys, but... Okay, here we go. How chicken 2Y. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna single this guy with a regular attack. We're gonna Windblade this guy. So we're just aiming both the attacks towards him to get rid of him. Alright, so he's going to be using Scratch, which is half damage. And the the charm looking attack, which is called Tenderness, is the move that um, lowers your attack, your physical attack. So I'm just going to go for this little peck right over here. And knock this guy out. So we should be all set. One, down, easy peasy. Oh, dang, that's super effective damage? All right, well, now we know a little bit about the type chart, so that's great. Okay, so now we get Shrill Voice. Shrill Voice uh, is going to be a new technique, widely used uh, by the teachers, deafens the whole class uh, team. That's great. So we got a brand new attack. And I think that's one of the ones that's going to attack two people at the same time. So don't hold back, come at us. You've earned 45. Well done. You'll be a great tamer one day. Yes, we will. We need to catch some more Temtem, -tem, though. Like, my team needs to be boosted. So let's kind of look around here. Maybe we can find some wild Temtem. -tem. Okay, Paharo. Paharo's here. Let's see exactly what's going on with Paharo. Uh, I'll do some neutral stuff, and maybe we can catch one of them. And then I'll Windblade one of them, too. Okay, that doesn't do too much work. We might as well catch it, right? For our Temtem -tem decks. Alright, wow, my defense is going down too. Okay, so let's do this. We're gonna go Psy Wave on this one. I'm gonna Windblade this one again, because this bottom one is the one I'm gonna try to catch. Ooh, I can catch any of these guys, they're in red. And yeah, I'll probably have 
really good odds on either of them. They're beginning of the game, Temtem, so I, I think we can get them. All right, so here we go. We're going to go to bag. I'm going to go to Tem card. I'm going to use it on this one. And then we're going to win... Uh, no, I'm going to pack the other one. So there we go. This is exactly the capture mechanics. I don't know what a failed capture looks like, but we got him. So there we go. This guy's got Hover Trait, which is going to be damage taken from Earth techniques is reduced by 50%. Oh, pretty cool. So we'll squat him up. Yeah, yeah, put him on the squad, level 4. Alright, and we knocked out the other one. So we now have uh, Paharo on our team. Now there's not any EXP share that I've seen yet. There may be something like that in the future. But as of right now, it's really just all about raising up your Temtem as best you can. Okay, here we go. We're back. Not really sure what was in there. Um, probably some sort of item. But uh, we should be good. So let's move on and see what we can do about finishing this off before we have to jump into another little wait there. Anyway, so an unarmed Paharo. We can easily beat this guy up. Paharo, level four. Defense down, that's fine. It's easy for us. Done. If I could find a new Temtem, that would be really fun. And leveling up would also be really beneficial right now. So let's kind of jump around here and see what we got. Hey, it's Kaku. All right. So Kaku's here. <laughs> no idea what Kaku is going to try to do, but... There's one hit, there's a kick, okay, and then Kaku's gonna use Toxic Spores. Oh yeah, yeah, okay, okay. So he's, his only job is to just poison, and that's fine. Here's your temp card. Hey, okay, so we got Kaku. All right, uh, Mithridatism is his ability. It prevents the poison status condition. Okay, so it can't get poisoned, but it should be all right. We're gonna squat him. And we're all level two, beautiful. Are we gonna learn a new move? No, nothing for our main Temtem. Okay, that's perfectly fine. There's a lot of wild Temtem up in here. See what we can find today. Okay, another Kaku. We're just gonna have to beat it up. I don't really want to skimp out on experience points right now, so we're just going to really focus on just doing that. Okay, big kick. Cool. And uh, Shy Shield, boosting the defense up a little bit. Okay. Windblade, doesn't matter. It's a 2v1. Oh yeah, I'm still poisoned. I should go get that looked at, right? I should definitely get that poison looked at, because it's it's hurting me. And it, it lingers after the fact, which is also kind of interesting. So poison status lingers after the fact. I think oh yeah, we got a long way. Let me go back to Let me go back home. Get ourselves healed up. And then we should be all set and ready to go. Yeah, home isn't that far away. But what's this? Oh, it's a battle! Oh no! Hey, you, this is supposed to be my spot. You come to pick all that sweet stuff lying around? Well, me too. Let's fight. So now this isn't um, just a random person online. No, this is an actual NPC that if, if you go in its line sight, it's going to attack you. Just like in other games like we've played before. So double piggy. <clears throat> I don't remember what piggy was weak against, but we're just going to do our best to knock out one. And a wind blade... I don't think I'm going to win Blade. I'm just going to do this. And I do have that poison status still, right? I believe. Okay, Piggy Bite. That's not good. And there's another Bite. Oh, Tawai's about to drop. Alright, so that's not good. I am going to... I guess I can... I can use Hypnosis to put one of them to sleep. Yeah, I'm going to put that one to sleep. And then I'm going to use another... I'm going to use Wind Blade on this other Pig. Half damage, but still rocked him. That was the great part about that. 
So that's good. Okay, so he tried using a snoozle or something like that, and then we got the successful hypnosis off, which is good. So, perfect. Uh, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna use a Psy Wave on him, and then I am going to, I'm gonna wait. Because the beauty about my ability is that I can hit him while he's sleeping, and he's not gonna wake up. So that's good. So now I'm gonna go with a kick, and I should be able to uh, do a another peck at him, and that should be able to win. Yeah, that's fine. So that was kind of clutch. If I didn't put him asleep, then potentially he would have knocked out my 2Y, but we're okay. All right, so there's a lot of things going on. While you're a tough one, go ahead and uh, take whatever you find. All right, I'm kind of worried about opening this. Found one vital apple, okay. Cool, 25% HP, I'm down. So we're back in Zadar. I'm gonna go get healed up by mom. We're gonna go try to catch another Temtem or two. We have four of them, which is good. I don't really know what the other ones do, but we'll find out. So wait, wait, did mom heal me? Hold on. How come my Temtem are still uh, low health? Oh, there we go. All right, the game just had to update. Got you. I'm like, wait a second, mom? I think your healing, your your hug has lost its luster here. All right. So let me actually look at my squad. So now remember, we got Paharo. He's got Peck and Stare. Uh, Stare, the details of Stare is this Temtem Intimidating Stare lowers their defense one stage. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then Peck has uh, all Beak Temtem like to playfully peck their tamers. This is a less friendly version, so Peck is cool. And then the trait we've already learned about for ground types. And then Kaku over here... Uh, I'm sorry. Let's just jump into Kaku. Okay, Kaku has... Oh, he doesn't really have any attacks. He's got... Um, Shy Shield, which... Boosts defense and then Toxic Spores. So, that's really it. He just, like, poisons. He doesn't really do any attacks. So, that's interesting. So, he's really dependent on just making sure you're poisoned and then allowing your other teammate to do some other damage, some main damage. So anyway. Well guys, it looks like the servers are getting a little jam-packed right now, so I think it's a perfect time to end off our first episode right around the half an hour mark. I'm super down with it. Make sure you guys are too. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed episode one of Temtem. Trust me, if I could jump in line and play some more for a little bit more, I think I would. But on our next episode, we'll jump in and we'll absolutely see what else is there in the north. Because there's a lot more battles, there's a lot more Temtem to find, and it's going to be a good one. So, thanks for watching. Anyway, if you guys didn't already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you guys do so. It's absolutely free, and you guys can join us and help us get to 1 million in 2020. That would be awesome. Let's hit it. Anyway, if you guys want to support the channel even further, you guys can go ahead and become a member, just like Patrick Mag uh, McGrath over here and all of these awesome people on board. You guys are amazing. Thanks for the support. Let me know in the comments what you guys thought of Temtem. Uh, this is episode one. I hope that the server is kind of get ironed out and maybe we can play some more for episode two. I cannot wait. I wanna see how this main story campaign is and all that stuff. Anyway, all the details on how to get Temtem are going to be in the description. Make sure you guys check that out or wait until the Nintendo Switch version launches. Either way, thanks so much for being here. We'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.